everyone, Kelsey here with ToyNotes.com and welcome back. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button now so you don't forget. Today we're playing with more robotics toys and you're not going to want to miss this review. So today guys, we're playing with more robotics toys from Wowie. They do a great job on their robotics, so I'm excited about this one. This one's Koji. He's a little robot that you can use with an app to control him and program. It says, learn code with a smile. So possibly educational, but sure to be fun. Let's go ahead and get him out of the, pop, out of the box and we'll see what he can do. Okay, so Koji's out of his box. That was fairly easy to do. Included in the box is Koji here. A quick start guide, which is um, kind of laminated, that way you can continue to use it. And then some instruction manuals in several languages. So even though it looks like there's a lot, there's really only one in English. We're going to have to download an app and put some batteries in Koji to see how he plays. And I'll bring you guys in for a closer look for that, that way you can see it as I'm playing. Okay, so it's playtime with the Wowie Koji. To start, you're going to have to put some AAA batteries in his little battery pack here, and then his on and off switch is right back here. Right there. You see that? Right there? Okay. So when you turn him on, he's going to power up. Just trying to make sure he's careful. Um, I would recommend playing with him on the floor because he gets a little bit crazy sometimes and can go nuts. Now your quick start guide just teaches you about Koji and what he does. You can play with him without your app on your Apple or Android device, but there's just not a whole lot to do. Like you can change his face like that. And then you can shake him and fly and he'll recognize what you're doing. But the cool part is playing in the app, which I've downloaded to show you guys. So this is your Koji app. You can start and it's gonna Bluetooth your Koji. Then this is a little story you can go through. It just shows him landing. Careful, Koji. You better stay safe there. <laughs> so, um, sequences, it teaches how to sequence code. And then that is just like a sequence of codes that you can save and use over and over to talk to him. And then you're through it. So this is your main menu. You have free play, sequence says where you copy sequences, macro maze, command center, and drive mode. Drive mode is just turns Koji basically into an RC toy that you can use. I like free play the best, and I'm going to show you guys that now. Now using free play, you're going to see all these emojis along the side. You have lots to choose from and then this little envelope on the side here. This is how you communicate back and forth with Koji. It's all by emojis. So for instance, if I hit the poop emoji and I send it, and then you see what he sent back to me? This little surprised face. So you can go through back and forth like that. Now if I go back to home, I'm going to also put it in drive mode so that you guys can see that. Now I want to change this face to the silly face. And then once the silly face is changed, I can use this arrow key to operate him. I'm just going to show you guys that now. That's drive mode basically. 
So that's just a few things that you can do. Sequences and macros kind of teach um, kids how to code and what coding is. Sorry, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. Um, it just very subtly teaches kids about robotics and how commu computers communicate. I'm going to turn him off here because they understand that Koji here doesn't do anything of his own accord. You have to tell him how to do it by the emojis. And like computers, they receive commands. And so it kind of teaches kids how to do sequences and coding and you do it without really realizing you're learning it. So guys, I just have a few final notes I wanted to give on Koji. So let's go to final review. So Wowie really impressed me with the Koji So Wowie really impressed me with their robot Koji here. I actually found that it was teaching so much about coding and how computers and robotics read commands, but it was doing it so subtly, I don't even think a lot of people would even notice it. I, the only reason I think I noticed it is because I'm using these toys and kind of picking them apart, trying to figure out what they're doing and what the good and bad is for you guys. So it was very, very subtle, but you learn a lot about coding in this really cool way. You communicate with him all by emojis, and he communicates back. There's so many features. I just think this thing has hours of playtime, and I think it can satisfy a lot of age groups. So I love it. So guys, if you loved today's video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you didn't do it at the beginning of the video. Also, check out toynotes.com. I've done all kinds of written reviews, toy lists, videos, play times, you name it, it's on there. It's very cool, so check it out. And until next time, see you soon.